Oh, Tiffany, are you there? I just wanted to say thanks again for all that you're doing. I really, really appreciate you letting me stay with you. Thanks. Sorry, you're coming to stay with me? What are you talking about? I don't remember talking about this ever. Well, you know how I'm trying to study so that I can go to law school, right? Well, I just can't study at all living with my parents, so I realized that I need a new place to go where I'll be able to concentrate. So I asked my mom about where she thought I should go, and she told me about how Chris was going away on a business trip. So I figured that since you would have the space for me without my brother there, that I could move in. Okay, hold on just a second there, Carly. Yes, it is true that Chris is away on a long business trip. But I don't get why you have to move all the way over here just to study. I mean, you're not even in law school yet, right? Well, yeah, but the law schools I want to go to are around where you live in New York. So I figure I might as well start getting used to living up there. And then once I finish taking the LSATs, I can just move all my things right into the school. Isn't that great? Look, Carly, I really want to help you in whatever way I can. But I just don't think this is the way to go about doing this. Besides, I would have to talk to Chris about this first. So you're going to tell me that you want to help me any way that you can, but then refuse to help me? And I don't get why you would have to go and ask my brother. Of course he would approve of this. You shouldn't even bother asking him. I already know the answer he'd give anyways. That's why I'm on my way to your place right now. Hold on a second. You're already on your way here, but I haven't even said yes. This is the first that we're talking about this. I know, but the date for the LSATs are coming up, and I've already registered to take them in New York, so once I move in, I am going to be really busy studying. But Carly, uh, I'm sorry, this is just all so sudden, and I don't think I can approve of this. What are you talking about? Why are you being such a stick in the mud about this? I mean, you're just a housewife who isn't really doing anything anyways, right? So since your husband is away, I can take his place and you can take care of me, right? You really expect me to be taking care of you while you're away? You can't be serious. Thank you so much. So just a heads up, every morning for breakfast, I would like to have a smoothie with fresh fruit. Then I want you to keep lunch light for me since I like to have naps in the afternoon. But make sure that you make something with things that are good for your brain for dinner, since that's when I'm going to be doing most of my studying. And I also want you to keep your place well stocked with lots of snacks. Are you seriously telling me that you want me to cook three meals a day for you? And on top of all that, you really want me to bring snacks to you as well? Why are you acting as if that's a big deal? You're a housewife. All you do is cook anyways, right? <laughs> Besides, I'm going to be a lawyer one day, so I think that it would be best to help me when I need it or stay on my good side, you know? Hold on a second. Let me guess. Next, you're going to tell me that in addition to cooking for you, I'm also going to have to do the laundry and all the cleaning too, right? Well, duh, I'm going to be busy studying all day, so you need to be taking care of all that kind of work. I'll basically just leave it all to you while I hit the books. I don't even know what to say to that. Do you really think that you can just live here and have me do everything to take care of you? What are you going to contribute in terms of rent? Are you at least going to help with the bills while you're here? Whoa, 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 what? What kind of way is that to talk to family? Here I am humbly asking for a little help from you, and you're telling me that you won't unless I cough up some money? Do you not want me to go to school? Do you not want me to follow my dreams of being a lawyer? Because law school isn't cheap, and I have to save money everywhere that I can. Are you kidding me? Is that really the best that you can come up with? Anyways, like I said, I'm already on the way over to your place right now. And just remember that whether or not I succeed at this is riding entirely on you. So make sure you do a good job of being there for me.
Hey, Tiff, you there? I'm so sorry for not getting back to you yesterday. I was just so crazy busy and I'm only checking my phone right now. Did Carly really end up coming to our place? She did. She arrived late last night and I just... I couldn't believe it. Now she's treating our place just like she owns it or something. It's just ridiculous. Well, I can't believe that she's actually doing this. So I take that that means you also had no idea that she was going to pull something like this? I had no idea that this was going to happen at all until I saw your messages that you'd sent me. And then there was just one message from Carly telling me that she was going to be using my office. So she did tell you something? Kind of. I tried to respond and ask her what she meant, but she just left me on read and never responded to me. I had no idea what she was talking about, and I certainly didn't think she was going to go this far. I know, right? It's like, what is she thinking doing this? Well, I talked to my parents, and they filled me in a little more about what was going on. I guess that Carly wasn't making any progress on moving out or finding any work, besides the part-time job that she already had. Then all of a sudden, she started talking about wanting to become a lawyer. My parents think it's because she's been really into this lawyer show, and that's the only reason she's acting this way. Well, I think it's fine to have ambition and want to pursue a challenging goal. But didn't your sister drop out of community college? Because, no offense to her, but I think the LSAT is supposed to be quite challenging, and I think you're supposed to have at least a bachelor's before starting a law program anyways. So then you really think that she came to our house to try and study for the test? Because I really wonder if she's actually studying for it at all. Yeah, not only that, but I hear that for some of the schools she's talked about wanting to go to, that she'll have to get a really high school. And you're telling me that you don't think she's going to be able to make the cut for that? From what I was reading, these schools only take the cream of the crop. But I guess that Carly must be really confident in herself. I guess there's still about six months before the tests are held, but does that mean that she's really going to just keep living with us until then? Hold on a second, the LSATs aren't for another six months? I was prepared to put up with Carly for maybe about a month or so, but she can't stay with us for six months. Especially if she's expecting me to act like her maid. Did you know she wants me to cook all her meals and do her laundry for her? Oh, she really gets too carried away sometimes. I just have no idea what she's thinking. But I think you should try and throw her out. I would help if I could, but I certainly don't want her touching any of my stuff. Well, unfortunately, I think that is much easier said than done. But she can't just squat at our house if we don't want her there. Doesn't she realise that? Actually, you know what? I think it's great that Carly is chasing her dreams like this. Maybe we should give her some credit and support her through this. And I think it'd be fine if she uses your office as her bedroom. At least that way we can keep our room clean. You do want to support your sister, don't you? Well, of course I want to, but are you really sure about this? I didn't even think that you were much of a fan of Carly to begin with. Well, it's only for six months, right? And as long as Carly actually studies during that time, then you and I might end up with a lawyer we can count on. I guess that's true, yeah. And if she managed to get a job, I might have made my parents really happy. Great, then it's settled. And this works for me since I was starting to get lonely without anyone to talk to since you left. Wow, well, okay. That's great. I can talk to my parents about this and maybe convince them to pitch in and help you out some. That is about $500 a month sound. Oh, I think that would be plenty for me. Thank you very much. Now, let's get your sister through law school. Carly, can you please let me back in the house? I still don't even understand why you would have thrown me out in the first place. Because I have my test in three days, don't you get it? How am I supposed to concentrate knowing that you're in the house with a fever? I had no choice but to throw you out. And just what is that supposed to mean? I mean that if I got your cold, then I might have to miss my test. Then I would have wasted all the effort that I've been putting into studying for the past month. 
That's why until I'm done with the test, you are not allowed back in. So don't come back until you're better. So then you're really just going to kick me out of the house while I have this high fever? Do you have any idea how cold it is out here? The least you could do is let me pack a bag. You really are a useless woman. Do you know that? How dare you not realize that you're only getting in the way of your amazing sister-in-law trying to achieve her dreams? Don't even talk to me. I can't believe that you would get a cold like this just so that you could try and sabotage me. It's like you really want me to fail at everything. Carly, you don't really believe that, do you? Of course I don't want you to fail, but I just got a bit of a cold is all. You really think I'm going to buy an excuse like that? It's not an excuse. I was feeling sick yesterday, and you had no problem talking with me and telling me to go to the store for you. In fact, because it was raining all day yesterday when I went out, I think that's why I'm feeling so sick. Well, it's because I needed you to go out and buy the ingredients for my good luck meal. Ever since I was in high school, I would always eat a lot of foods that start with A so that I would get that grade. But you shoved me out of the house so quickly yesterday that I couldn't even grab an umbrella. By the time I got back, I was completely soaked. But I've been doing my best to stay out of your way and make sure that you have everything you need to study. So I don't get why I'm being kicked out of the house this time. For the last time, you are being kicked out so that this house doesn't become a petri dish and so I don't get sick. Is this really the way that you're thanking me after all that I've done for you? After all the cooking and cleaning and support that I've given you? I can't believe that this is the way that you're paying back the person who lets you live in their home free for six whole months. Do you have any idea just how much of my own money I've sunk into you, Carly? But I thought it would be okay as long as I was helping you study. Oh, just shut up already, would you? Quit sending me all these sobby, sad texts. If you really wanted to help me pass my test, then you would never have gotten sick in the first place. If you still want to help me, then you can just sit there and shut up. So you really expect me to just sit outside my own house for three days with a fever like this? Is this any way for someone who wants to be a lawyer to treat people? Is this the way lawyers treat the people who helped them get to where they are? Oh, don't worry. You'll be getting plenty of gratitude as soon as I'm actually a lawyer. Because once I am, I'll be making millions of dollars. Maybe I'll even kick some back your way for all that you've been doing for me. But if you want that to happen, then you better leave me alone so that I can pass. I don't care about the money, Carly. That was never what this was about. I just thought that you would have a little more gratitude after all this time. Look, you are keeping me from studying. What was the point of kicking you out if you still won't leave me alone? Just go away and don't come back until you're feeling better, got it? You better watch how you talk to my wife, Carly. Wait, what? Are you delirious or something? Has your fever gotten that bad? I want to know just what you think you're doing right now, Arsis. Because you got some real nerve kicking my wife out of our house after all she's been doing for you. You do realize that the person who's been taking care of you for the past six months is sick, right? Or do you just not care? Wait, sis, your wife, is this Chris? But I thought that you were away on your business trip, right? I was away, yeah, and now I've come back. I actually requested to come back early so that I could try and make it for you when you took the LSAT. I wanted to let you know that you had more support than you knew. Wait a second. You mean that you came home early just to cheer me on for my test? That was the plan. But now that I come to this, I don't know what to think. What I do know is that you have a family member who's sick and you've literally thrown them out of the house. What kind of person does that, huh? But you don't understand. I'm going to be taking my test in three days. I wasn't about to let myself catch a cold from Tiffany. I'm just trying to keep her away until I've safely taken it is all. If that's what you're worried about, 
why not just ask Tiffany to stay in her room and rest? This is our house, after all. You were the one that showed up here uninvited. In fact, it was Tiffany who finally came around on letting you stay as long as you have. Well, that's nice of her, but still, it doesn't change the facts. The facts are that you've been taking advantage of my wife's kindness for your own gain. And now, you've gone too far. Who do you think you are, kicking your own host out of their home? But I didn't have any money to stay anywhere else. What was I supposed to do? I don't care what you do or where you go. You can go study under a bridge for all I care. Your test is only in three days. But surely you're not going to forget all that you studied if I kick you out now, right? Kick me out? You wouldn't really do that, right? Not after I've come so close to finally taking the test. The whole reason I came here in the first place. I don't care about your test at all right now, Carly. Please, you're scaring me. Why are you acting like this? Why are you acting like this, Carly? Don't you get how wrong this is? You've let this get way out of hand, and I hope you do fail for all the horrible things you've done up to now. But especially for taking advantage of my wife like this. How dare you use her kindness just to throw her out like this? Please, I never would have done that if I knew you were going to get so upset. I guess I just lost sight of what was really important. I just didn't want to catch a cold so close to my test is all. You can understand that, right? You can't blame me for that. Hey, Carly, how'd the test end up going for you? I just wanted to let you know that my fever went down and I'm feeling better. The test was horrible. It was the worst that I've ever done, and when I fail, it'll be all your fault. But how can you know that when the test just ended right now? I don't need to wait for the results. I already know that I failed. You've made me waste a whole year of my life. Do you know that? A whole year! And why don't you think you need to wait for the results? What makes you think you didn't pass? Because I couldn't even get in to take the test. I forgot my entrance slip and I didn't have a spare downloaded on my phone. They didn't even let me take the test. You forgot your entrance pass? Well, uh, how did you do that? You know how it happened. When Chris came home, he burst into the house and started yelling at me to pack up my bags and leave. I was so scared and in such a rush that I must have left that pass behind in Chris's office somewhere. That's why this is all your fault. This would have never happened if you hadn't caught that stupid cold. Well, it sounds to me like you're just looking for everyone but yourself to blame for this, but at least you'll always be able to take it again next year. You mean that you'll let me come back to your place to study again next year? <laughs> no. That is not what I said. I never want you setting foot in my house again, and neither does Chris, for that matter. But then how am I supposed to study for the test? Where am I supposed to live? Who's going to cook for me? I think those are all issues that you'll have to figure out yourself. I gave you much more help than you deserved, and you spit it all back in my face. Well, I am certainly not going to make that mistake again. Please, I'm sorry. I won't ever act that way again. I'm so, so sorry, Tiffany. After that, Carly was unsure of who to turn to and fled back to her parents' house. But since she left, her parents had changed the locks on the door and refused to let her in. Realizing she had no one but herself who she could rely on, Carly found a job and a small, cheap apartment where she could still study to pursue her dream of being the next big pop star. Even though she's already in her late 20s, Carly was inspired by her experience studying for the LSAT. She was sure that she could do anything if she set her mind to it. She even started a few social media pages to try and promote herself, and, well, they're going about as well as you would expect them to. But, who knows, maybe one day she'll prove everyone wrong